Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Oilers hosting the Knights, and the Knights are minus 106 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 113. The over under six and a half goals. The Knights getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 265, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 210, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. The Oilers without McDavid, I understand them being underdogs. I also understand them being favorites, but favorites against the Knights, I'm not so sure. It's supposed to be Hill in net for the Knights and Skinner in net for the Oilers. Head to head, they're five and five against each other. The home teams won the last three. The home team is six and four. The favorite is five and five on the money line. And the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is six and four. There have been two one goal games in their last ten. The over under is four, four and two, and the over under at six and a half goals is five and five. They played three times last year and probably why the Oilers are the favorite. The home team won all three games. The Oilers 5-4 to four in a shootout in Edmonton, then the Knights 3-1 to one in Vegas, and then the Oilers 5-1 to one in Edmonton again. The Knights are 5-1 and one in their last six. 10 goals, 5 goals, 9 goals, 7 goals. 7 goals and a win, 5 goals and a win, 3 goals and a loss, and then 4 goals and an overtime win. For the Oilers, 2-2 two two in their last four. 7 goals, 6 goals, 6 goals, 3 goals. One goal and a loss, five goals and a win, four goals and a win, shut out in a loss. And seemingly we're back to that trend like what happened last year where if they don't score this one, at least they got one game where they scored three goals. But if they're not scoring three or more goals, they're not winning. I'm going to take the Knights on the money line. I'm going to take the Knights getting the goals. I'm going over in this one. I don't think the uh, Oilers are going to get blanked in back-to-back -back games, but I just think that the Knights are a little bit of a healthier team right now. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.